Hey Ben Pals! Filming outside today in the snow. Interesting tidbits about where we live. Hmm. I've lived in a handful of cities and towns, most in Illinois. I was born in California though. Um, Fairfield, I think? On an Air Force base? Possibly? Uh, we lived in California for just a few short years before moving to Illinois though. I'm gonna skip the earlier towns just because I couldn't really find much about them. And the few things that I did find about the towns that I live in, I decided to just sort of keep them all within the same subject. Entertainment. <laughs> Actors, movies, the whatnot. Yeah. So, uh, today's gonna be a pretty boring video, basically. For a short while, we lived in Des Plaines. This one isn't exactly entertainment-based, but the very first franchise McDonald's was actually in Des Plaines. And um, I think it's still there now, but it's not running. It's a museum now. A McDonald's museum. And something that I found very neat while I was living there, uh, The Breakfast Club, the movie, it was filmed in Des Plaines. Mostly, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to attempt to show you a screeny right now. See it? I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Do you see the apartments in the background? Yeah, that apartment complex is where I lived in Des Plaines. Not that specific, like, group of apartments. Mine were uh, more towards the, uh, the right, left, other side, whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so you can even see the apartment complex that I was living in in that movie. I thought that was so neat. They filmed in Maine North High School, which by the time I lived there, wasn't there anymore. It had actually turned into a state police station, and the football field, where the iconic last shot of the film was filmed, is no longer there either. It's now a subdivision of condominiums, so that's kind of sad. But, part of the police station was sort of blocked off and turned into a child drop-in center. So I had gone there a couple of times and as a result I have been in the gym that was in the movie. It's not as nice anymore. I think like floorboards are taken out and part of the bleachers and it's not as pretty but it's still functional. Sort of. <laughs> Moving on. The city we moved to after that was Aurora. Wayne's World? the uh, SNL skit slash movie franchise type thing was uh, based in Aurora. Although I hear that it wasn't actually filmed in Aurora, like movies, but I've never actually checked. It's been a while since I've seen them. So y'all should know that my second favorite show after NCIS, and if you don't include Firefly at all, is Castle. So it only makes sense for me to throw this in here. Uh, Stana Kadic, Kadic? don't know how to pronounce her last name. Um, she plays Detective Kate Beckett on the show. And um, she was born in Canada but lived in Aurora. She grew up there. Um, she actually graduated from West Aurora High School, which I think is pretty cool, even though I went to East Aurora High School. I don't really want to talk about the town I'm in now, but that's okay because I really couldn't find that much about the town anyway. You know, Aurora is near Naperville. David Eigenberg? Eigenberg? I don't really know how to pronounce his last name either. But he played uh, Steve, I think, in Sex and the City. He grew up in Naperville. And so did Evan Lysacek, who is a 2010 Olympic gold medalist in figure skating. Really cool. Ben, I'll see you tomorrow. Can you see that? It's a snowflake. It's so pretty. They... Jeez Louise. 